I'm Anil Kumar and in this practice test review, I've taken excellent questions for you to prepare and get good marks in the test. Here is the one regarding absolute function. Express the inequality x greater than or equal to minus 3 and less than or equal to 7 using absolute value notation. Now let's try to see how to write such an interval in the form of absolute function. Normally, you will see these two values to be exactly same, so it becomes much simpler. Here, we have two values which are not the same kind of, minus 3 and 7. Let us say, and both are included, so we'll put minus 3 here, and let us say this is 7. So, interval between these two is being shown here. So, x is anything between minus 3 and 7 both included. The question is to write this as an absolute function. How will you do it? Try it and then look into my suggestions. The best way to do it is to find the midpoint of these two, right? So that means we let's find the midpoint. So midpoint we can find by adding and dividing by 2, right? So let's find the midpoint. So we get midpoint as minus 3 plus 7 divided by 2, which is 4 divided by 2 equals to 2. So the midpoint is at 2. So that means the absolute function should be translated horizontally 2 units to the right. This is what it really means, right? So that 2 gives me x Translated 2 units to the right means x minus 2. So that becomes my absolute function. Now since it is in between and these two points are included, we will write inequality as less than equal to. Now less than equal to how much? That is what we have to find now. So how much is, how far is the center from the extremes? So 7 minus 2, what is this distance? This is what we have to figure out. 7 minus 2 is 5 and you could check this also between minus 3 and 2 is also 5 right so x minus 2 absolute value should be less than equals to 5 units so that gives you the answer right so the steps here are first step and there are two steps involved first step is find the midpoint or mid value and second step is how far is the center from extreme position, right? Now, in case you are talking about in between, it is always less than equal to, right? Let me share with you another example here. Let us say we have a number 9 and we had to do the reverse, that is to say, we had to do greater than, including, but greater than, right? And let us say these points are, let's say, let's take them as 1 and 5. Now, if 1 and 5 are the points, what should you do? Find the center value. Center value is 5 plus 1, 6, divided by 2 is 3. Now, from 3, how far are you? both ways. 1 and 3 is 2 units away and 3 to 5 is also 2 units away. Correct? Since you have moved to position 3, in this case the absolute function should be x minus 3, right? Absolute value. But you are going away. You don't want to be within. So it has to be greater than equal to because this point is included, right? 2. At least two units away. That is what you are trying to say. So that is how you have to do or write inequalities as absolute functions when the two extreme values are not same absolute values. I hope you understand and appreciate it. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn in details about functions. Thank you.